Hey guys there and welcome, it's Reggie here for another video today, I've got an infected guide on multiplayer advanced warfare, so let's get into it. Infected is a really awesome mode and so what I would suggest first of all is like this is completely different kind of infected to say MW3 or you know Ghost, there's completely different strategies and tips, so in Ghost it was mainly just stay back, conserve your ammo, in this game it's like some bits carry across but other bits don't, so first of all I would say what you want to do is early in the game you want to get as many kills as you can not spamming your ammo just getting as many kills as you can but like conserving your ammo being careful about when you shoot how much you shoot and then go for those ammo packs the scavenger packs go for them right and then try and stock up that ammo reserve it just make sure you got enough so that if someone comes along you can use it now the problem is if people don't do that later on what they'll find is that they'll have to rush for ammo when there's lots of people coming along and they're not going to be able to like fight them off because what's going to happen is the ammo that they've wasted by spamming it earlier and not collected anymore they're going to have to run in when there's loads of people coming towards them and they're going to be dead so that's not what you do run forward early in the game get as many kills as you can like but not using much ammo like I said pick up all the scavenger packs you can and then keep away to the back of the map the thing I find that kills me the quickest is staying around other people so you want to stay in an area which you can hold down well which has got maybe one at least one if not two or three sides that no one can come from so like a wall or the edge of the map or something you don't want to be if you're around people they'll distract you they'll cause trouble and you could even I don't know you know it's just because you see all people moving you think oh it's a friendly and then they come towards you and you think hang on that's not a friendly <laughs> you're dead so that's not what you want to do you want to stay away from enemies you want to stay to the back of the map kind of camping but it doesn't really matter infected because camping is camping and it doesn't really matter it doesn't count towards anything because it's infected so Effect is a fun game mode, and I would say, yeah, like, you want to kind of camp a bit, hold the back of the map, and, like, stay up on a ledge or whatever, so, like, for me, I was on Detroit, and there was, like, a building at the back of the map towards the edge, like, literally at the back edge, there was, like, a fence, so I just put my back towards that and dodged around, so you want to dodge around so that if someone, like, throws a spike drone, it won't hit you. Now, the thing with spike drones is it's nowhere near as good as the throwing knife. The throwing knife was pretty hard to get a kill with, but you were quite vulnerable towards these throwing knives in Ghost. Now, in Advanced Warfare, I would say you're not very vulnerable towards a spike drone at all. So what you want to do, like I said, dodge around. So once you've, you know, conserved your ammo, uh, dodge around. We want to do this at all times, but when you get towards the back of the map, you want to dodge around, and then you want to kind of just, like, go around, do random patterns, go around places, just move around, jump, boost, dodge, whatever, double jump, just move around, and just do whatever, do a random pattern, and the reason for that is because if you do like the same pattern, like, okay, you sprint to the end, double jump, turn back again, and then just walk to the end, sprint, and then just keep going in that pattern, the enemy will figure out, the infected person will see it, they'll see you going in a loop, and they'll just wait for you to come back again, and you, you can't do that, uh, so if you see someone trying to aim at you or whatever, try and mix it up, make it even more random, and just go random places, like, what I mean by that is, like, sometimes you can boost jump and then slowly go down other times you can boost jump and then do the immediate boost slam down back on the ground again you can boost dodge left right up down you can run sprint you can literally don't even have to jump you can just dodge a bit from side to side while you're still on your feet you can crouch you can slide do everything just make it all random mix it up and just move around that's one of the main things that makes you more likely to get to high round so once you stay away from people and once you've done all that you're probably going to get quite far unless you made a silly mistake you're probably going to be one of the last people surviving if not the last person now if you're the last person like me my hands always go sweaty at that point the controller goes funny so I just quickly wipe my hands and then what I do is I just wait for the people to come now once they're coming towards you then you can start using your exo ability so don't use any exo abilities until they come towards you at that point if it's extra health turn it on if it's like I don't know invisibility that's kind of gonna help yeah yeah it's probably gonna help you actually so something like that but I can't remember what it is. I think it's just the exo shield actually not invisibility Sorry, the shield is pretty much useless. The time that you're holding up, it just slows you down. So don't bother with the exo ability. Use the explosive drone. The explosive drone is a bit like an IED, nowhere near as good. It's you know just put it down and it kind of explodes when enemies go near them. So if you put the explosive drones, because you've got two of them, if you put them down to the two like worst entrances i.e. the entrances that are not going to bring you anywhere, that are probably going to get you killed anyway, Then, but the enemies are probably going to come through them. If you put them there, then obviously they're going to die, and that will be your two explosive drones gone. So once you see your enemies coming towards you, once you're the final survivor, and it says, you're the final survivor, 
put down the explosive drones quickly, maybe two or three entrances or two good places uh, that are not too close to you so that if the enemy explodes it, you're going to die as well. That's one of the big problems. I think in one of the gameplays you saw, I jumped down onto the guy and the explosive drone exploded and it killed him, but obviously it killed me as well. So make sure you don't go near the explosive drone, make sure you don't die, it's a, it'll be a silly mistake. Just stay away from that, put it down at the entrances so that if they come through they're going to die, and that'll take out two of them and that'll give you two extra kills. So that, along with your getting kills early in the round, is going to be very useful. The final bit is the real fight, the real bit that's really going to help you. So what you want to do is you want, when they're coming towards you, you want to, if you're on a ledge, just shoot them down, dodge about, like I said, make sure they can't get onto the ledge. Now when they're finally there you think, oh god, I'm about to die, oh sorry, just before that, if you run out of ammo and you're trying to reload quickly, you can either like quick reload by double tapping X. It will like replace the ammo cartridge with a brand new one. With you know, it just it's quicker, but you lose a bit of ammo. Or you can just like punch them. But if you can kind of punch them, if they're on their ball on the game, they are going to probably win because they've got a knife. And a knife via punch, knife normally wins. I don't know why that works, but it just does. Uh, anyway, so the final thing, when they're when they're about to corner you, or, you know, not when they're about to corner you, but when you think that you're probably going to die in the next 20 seconds, you want to dodge out of the way, you want a big area of land, so find a big area of land, I don't mean sprint towards it, I mean nearby, not one where there's like boxes and cars and stuff to jump over because they'll get in the way. Then you want to literally just spam like the boost button, just the sprint button, and you want to kind of like do figures of eight or circles or random patterns, like run around, but then jump as well, and just, you'll see it in the gameplay, I can't remember whether you've already seen it or not, but you, you'll jump, and then you'll do all the random things, spam the shoot button as much as possible, because you're going to be running over, like, ammo packs, like fresh ones, straight away, you don't need to worry about that, because you'll pick it up naturally, uh, by running over dead bodies that you kill, and then, like I said, like, jump, and then just sprint as fast as you can, try and get away from them, if you boost all over the place, the enemies aren't going to know where you are, and they really can't get to you in time. It's really difficult, especially with the knife. And like I said, the spike drones aren't very good. So with the knife, it's very difficult to get you when you're boost jumping all over the place. And So what you want to do, when you've run out of ammo, you need to reload in your shotgun or whatever it is. Then you want to quickly reload and then double jump, or double jump and reload, whatever. And then while you're reloading, you can be in the air, which is really cool, and then dodge out of the way. And then go back down, double jump again, spam the shoot button, and then keep doing that until you die. And then if it comes to it in your corner, just try and punch them or whatever. If you've run out of ammo, you can't can't do something, I don't know, or you haven't reloaded in time, punch them, just do whatever, and you should survive. Now, that's been my guide, it's been very useful for me, I hope it is for you guys as well. Like you saw here, I got a 10 kill and an 8 kill gameplay, those are the only two gameplays I've got so far, I haven't been, I haven't plugged in my capture card, so I wasn't able to record any other ones, I've got, I think, 15 though, so it's very useful, and I'm going to try and, if there's anything new, then I'll update you guys with that, but let me guys know... If this is helpful at all, like a like would be really awesome. And I've got tons of other videos such as how to get long shots and stuff like that. Easy in Advanced Warfare to get those royalty and diamond camas and stuff like that. That's been my time guys. Like I said, I'm Reg Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.